Hi, I'm going to show you here how to add vectors by components. This is about an equivalent amount of work, but all of the work is a lot simpler than when we're adding them by putting them tip to tail or creating a parallelogram. So I'm going to use the same example as I did last time. I'm going to add these two vectors here. The first is 12 north 50 degrees east, and the second is 15 north 35 degrees west. And to keep things simpler, I'm going to label them. So let's call this one vector u, and we'll call this one vector w. <clears throat> okay, so vector u is 12 north 50 degrees east. And if I was to add these two by putting them tip to tail, as I've shown you before, we're going to take our vector that's northeast, we're going to take our vector that's northwest, sorry, this one's northwest, this one is northeast, and we're going to figure out what angles go inside of here, we're going to use the cosine law to find the resultant, and then we've got to work backwards to find the angle. The work for doing this component by component is a bit simpler. The idea is this. We take our vector u, which is northeast, and we find two components to represent it. So for example, if this is our northeast vector, it has a horizontal component, well, it's actually an east component, and it has a vertical component, or a, a north component. If this is our northwest vector, I can also split it into, we'll for now call them horizontal and vertical components, just as they match the page. And then to add these two vectors, all we need to do is add the horizontal components and add the vertical components and the resultant we get from our simple right angle triangle. So it makes all of the work a lot easier. Now in this particular case, instead of two arrows going to the right, we have an arrow going to the right and one going to the left. So you end up with a shorter arrow here. But it's, it's that simple idea. And as you can see, instead of solving one complicated triangle, you're solving three very simple right angle triangles. Okay, so let's get to work here. So vector u is 12 north 50 degrees east. So I'll draw a real simple picture of that. So that's 50 degrees here, so this is 40 degrees here. So theta is 40, our true bearing is 50, and our quadrant bearing is that this is north 50 degrees towards the east. This has a magnitude of 12. I'm going to call this component ux because it's vector u along the x-axis. And I'm going to call this component uy for obvious reasons. Now, ux is equal to 12 times the cosine of 40 degrees. We have 40 degrees in here. If it is north 50 degrees towards the east, that's 50 up here. Subtract that from 90, you have 40 degrees inside here. So ux is 12 times the cosine of 40 degrees. Which makes it 9.19 and it's east. Likewise, uy is 12 sine 40 degrees. That's this one here. And opposite over hypotenuse is the sine of the angle. So if you rearrange that, <clears throat> ui is 12 times the sine of 40 degrees. Which is 7.71. And that's north. Now I'm going to do the same thing with vector w. So if this is 35 degrees here, 
then in here is going to be 55 degrees. This has a magnitude of 15, and Wx is 15 times the cosine of 55 degrees. And I can say ahead of time the direction is going to be west, not east. It's obvious from the diagram. Let me just fold this in so you can see that part better. So that's going to be west. So we have 15 cos 55. And that's 8.6. Wy, that's the vertical component. See, this is Wx. And up here we have Wy. Wy, our vertical component, is 15 sine 55. And that's going to be north. And that's 12.29. Okay, so to summarize this information, we have vector u is ux is 9.19 east. plus 8.6 west. So the resultant vector of u plus w in the x direction is simply going to be, so u plus w in the x, the x component of it, is going to be 9.19 minus 8.6, and it's quite clear that that's going to be east. So that's 0 0.59 east. Now vector u plus w in the y component is going to be 7.71 plus 12.29, which is 20. So our final answer, the resultant vector, we're going to get by putting the x and y component of u plus w, adding them together inside of a right angle triangle. So we go a tiny bit to the east and much farther north. Our east component is 0 0.59 and our north component is 20. Okay, this is u plus wx. This is u plus wy. And the result of adding these two vectors is u plus w. Now, the magnitude of u plus w we will get easily from the Pythagorean theorem. So the magnitude of u plus w is going to simply be the square root of 20 squared plus 0 0.59 squared. So we have 20 squared plus 0.59 squared gives us that. 
and the square root is 20. 0 0.01. The direction, if I call this angle here theta, the tan of theta is 20 over 0.59. So theta is the inverse tan, which is pronounced arctan, of 20 over 0.59. which is 88.3 degrees. And if we subtract that from 90, that gives us 1.7 degrees, which means this angle up here is 1.7. So our final answer as a quadrant bearing is that u plus w is equal to 20.01 north 1.7 degrees to the east. So to summarize, the method is this. If you want to add two vectors, you write the first vector as a horizontal and vertical component. You write the second vector as a horizontal and vertical component. You add the horizontal components together, giving you this. You add the vertical components together, giving you that. You then take the resultant horizontal component, the resultant vertical component, and you put them together. They will axiomatically be 90 degrees from each other. You put them together, use the Pythagorean theorem and a little bit of trigonometry, specifically inverse tan, to find the magnitude and the direction of the resultant vector.